Alright guys, so today we are leaving to go to Tennessee to get the motor and the transmission. I'm a little under the weather, but I'm alright. Um, so at, like, I set up to like 12 o'clock last night trying to get tires on this trailer just for the beads to leak and for the valve smith to be bad. So regardless, we went to 129 tires this morning, or not 129 tires, I don't really, to Tire Barn I think is who it was. And we got these mounted up, they're good. We now have tires on the trailer. <laughs> And a rewired trailer. Our trailer is now good. We got it all hooked up and we're ready to go. Um, but last night we were like, what the heck are we going to do? Um, we just thought about just, I'll follow them in that, but they didn't want to do that. Regardless, we got to fix. Um, so, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get it loaded down. We have a spare on here just in case something goes bad. I got it, I got it. Is it locked? Let's see if it's locked. It is locked. But I've got an impact, ratchet straps, and a tarp in here. Um, the only other thing I might pack is some bungee straps to tie down the tarp. So, yeah, we're ready. Alright, so right now we're in Madisonville, Tennessee. We got the trailer. He's coming over here with the tractor. Coming over here. We're going to load this thing up and then we're going to go with the motor. Alrighty, so what we have is we have the transmission you saw get loaded. We have the head of a 429, 429 block. Uh, I've already inspected the cylinder walls and they look really good. Pistons look really good too. Um, here's the thing that goes with it. We have both heads, uh, just factory 429 heads. Lots of noise. Um, and on the way back, we actually had a problem with our tire. Um, I didn't record this because I just did not cross my mind. But from the front, it looks like right. But whenever you flip it over, the back bead just broke off of it. And we paid somebody to, to mount this, so we're not too happy about that. But regardless, so we, we got it back. We're good now. I also have some chrome valve covers and a breather inside that I bought as well. Just because the guy had it and he had a good price on it. So, um, yeah, we're going to get all the stuff unloaded. And um, next thing you'll probably see us do is put that on a motor stand. Okay guys, so I'm finishing this video inside. Um, this is the chrome I bought. So it says Ford High Performance on it. And uh, this actually says 460 High Performance. Cause, but I'm going to try to get that changed to like a 2.9. If I can pay somebody to do it. Or I might just leave it. It's really not that big of a deal. It's underneath the hood. You're not going to be seeing it a lot. Plus it is the same block. Um, 
Regardless, guys, this is the chrome that I bought. It's really nice. Um, I got it from the same guy I got the engine from. So, this is, like, way later down the road, but I didn't want to go ahead and show it to you guys. Um, so, yeah. Alright, guys, so in the next video, probably, we're going to be doing some more cleaning in the garage, because we're not quite done with that yet. Um, plus, that'll be the end of the building video. But these the, the timelines were kind of weird for this. So just bear with me for a minute because I had, I had already planned to go get the engine this day and we didn't get everything we needed to get done done in time. Um, so we have to do some more cleaning on the building. We have to buy a motor stand and mount our engine and go ahead and start taking stuff off of it. Um, but all that will be like the next two videos, three videos. Um, but yeah guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, um, sure drop a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time. Bye.